Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Gable. I'm an artist. I've been creating original one of one stone carvings for the last nine years and selling them through galleries. Interestingly enough, with this piece, I learned a new finishing technique, which only took me about nine years to get to. This connects to the idea that experience is an important aspect of any creative process. Raw talent is nice, but you cannot replace that expertise that comes with simply investing your time. After cutting a nice flat base, I discovered a crack in the stone that I thought might compromise the structural integrity of my original design. So I decided to flip the stone up on end and try out a new design. This early part of the process of figuring out how I'm going to place the subject in the stone and then beginning to draw out the proportions is exciting. As I've mentioned in previous videos, carving stone is a collaboration with Mother Nature. I do my best to work with the stone rather than try and tell it what to do. This piece flowed so well. It felt like things just fell into place. It's not always like that and honestly I wonder why and what exactly determines this flow experience. I do use rulers occasionally to get the exact measurements, but I also like using my eye and my internal measuring or balancing system to create my works of art. It's that same system we use when we get dressed in the morning and decide what shirt looks good with what pants. There is no chart or measuring stick you can use for this, you just kind of go with what feels right, or your internal sense of balance, and it's a very natural instinct. We are all artists in our own way and use creative processes in day-to-day -day life often without even realizing it. I love how you can already see the bear coming out of the stone when you start making these early rough cuts. I ended up spending a lot of time working on the head before moving down into the rest of the bear. I have learned and I'm learning what I like when it comes to carvings and the type of look I am going for. I love when my bears have an almost cartoony look, but still hold a nice realism. When aligning the proportions, I exaggerate some parts and some parts I make sure are more true to nature. I read somewhere that Michelangelo believed it was okay to make the head and hands of the figure larger in proportion, but never smaller. It's a fascinating process creating art and creating 3D sculptures. What I noticed recently is that I actually use illusion in the process of creating my sculptures. Illusion is typically a part of two-dimensional work where you are creating the illusion of three-dimensional space on a flat surface. But I find I also use illusion when creating my sculptures, even though they are already 3D. This again is what I was talking about earlier when I mentioned the value of experience. I have learned illusionistic techniques and applications that give my pieces the look and feel I am wanting, which I've developed over years and years of trial and error and trial and success. Sanding the bear is fun. It's like all the hard work is done and now you get to coast the rest of the way and enjoy the fruits of your labor. I also hadn't really looked too closely at the color of this stone before this moment. As soon as I saw the color, the title Starry Night popped into my head because there was this section of the stone that had these tiny little speckles in it that looked like stars. Of course, Starry Night is a reference to the famous painting by Vincent van Gogh, whose balance of realism and artistic interpretation is an inspiration to me as an artist. Thank you for joining me on my art journey. And if you like these videos and want more content like this, be sure to like and follow me on my social media accounts.